Good morning, everybody. Tis the season where everybody's like, I want this and I want that and I've been nice and I deserve twice the amount. <laughs> well, Julie Cole is a proud mom of six and a blogger and she's mm -hmm. back to share some important tips as to how it's about giving back and not right. all the having of things. Yeah. Good morning. You know, it is that time of year where we start seeing the lists and the I wants and hearing all that and it gets a little bit gross sometimes. Yes. Um, so I always think that this is a great time of year to teach lessons to kids about giving back because that is really the best gift you can give them. And the true meaning. And the true and the meaning. Season. And you know, there's so many organizations out there that need help right now. You can find a local food bank, a women's shelter. There's a list of organizations that need help this time of year. And it's such a wonderful tradition to start. And it really does give your kids something special to remember doing with their family. Mm. And a lot of these organizations too do actually end up getting a little bit of an influx of help at this time. So maybe it's even you know what, New Year's resolution, let's volunteer once a month to do something. Yeah. And then it just gives your kids that chance to kind of appreciate what they have and that gift of, of, of giving back. And I know for my kids, um, something that we do, outside of like organizations just with ourselves and I know you do this with nieces and nephews as well and sometimes I try to fo take the focus away from the presence and make it more about what can we do together so with all my nieces and nephews there's 12 of them mm -hmm. rather than you know swapping the toys and the gifts and everybody spending too much we all just contribute on a certain amount and then the nieces and nephews buy Tim Hortons gift cards and then they write out little Christmas cards and yeah. then they distribute them um, along among the local street community yeah. and it's beautiful because it gives the ch kids a chance to interact uh, with people living with homelessness and makes them appreciate their own situation and just it's a it's a feel good all it around. is a feel good yeah. you really do when you're giving like that it really is your spirit that's receiving for right? sure because you know you're helping somebody in need and it helps them realize and put into perspective all the blessings that they have. So you see experiences over stuff as something you could do by example too. So role model the behavior you want your kids to That's then follow. Right. I mean, nobody wants kids being sort of greedy or asking for too much or wanting too much. And I feel like this parenting gig it really is all about the role modeling. So are your kids overhearing you say things like, oh, you know, the neighbors got that nice new car and we can't afford that nice new car. Oh, look what they have. You know, are they hearing you talk about material things like that in that mm -hmm. light? You know, make sure that you're role modeling the importance of, let, make sure you're volunteering and they're seeing that. Make sure they're seeing, you know, that you don't place too much value you on the material things because as I said this it, it is a it is a it is a role modeling gig this parenting thing and then there's the fact that the kids talk with one another they go back to school yep. and as I got this and I got that sure. and how does that make the other kids who didn't get those things feel right so um, as I always tell my kids and I think it's important that parents remind their children that Santa is very respectful of parents and Santa only brings gifts that parents approve of. Mm -hmm. So this is why little Johnny up the street might have a puppy. If you put that on your list in my house, well, I'm never going to approve that because we don't need a puppy. Or if the kid next door got a very expensive gaming machine and a new phone, um, you may not have received that even though it's on your list because perhaps I don't want you as a parent having so much screen time or maybe I just think that's too excessive, a right. Christmas gift. So that's why some kids get quite extravagant gifts from Santa and, and other kids don't. And I do like the idea of parents putting boundaries in for their kids. Some, a lot of parents I see moving to the four gift rule, which is something you want, something you need, something you wear, and something you read. Mm. So there's something, you know, some necessity in there that gets fulfilled, some reading material, which is good, and then maybe one thing that they really want. Yeah. Just put some boundaries there. But it's true, Santa has to go through mom and dad and all the guardian angels first. That's right. And then decide from there. Exactly. But at the end of the day, it's about giving back and creating memories. I know with my niece and nephews, yeah. it's always, whether we're having a little impromptu dance session in the family room, yeah. or playing charades, or going outside if it's snowing and having fun. That's the stuff they hold on to. Absolutely. And that's why I always encourage grandparents or aunts and uncles, rather than getting the toys and the things that can break or they outgrow, they'll never outgrow their memories. So how about, you know, a ticket to the theater? How about a day in the city? How about paying for some music lessons? Again, valuing that experience over the materialism. Quality time. Yeah. Thank you so much. Great tips, Julie. For more information, where can we follow you? You can follow us at MabelsLabels.com yeah. and you can find my blog there and our Instagram. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. And your 
Huge family of eight. Yeah. I don't know how she does it. That's a whole other thing with six kids. You're incredible. Thank you.